Welcome friends. In this video, I am going to explain you the design requirement for substation civil and structural engineering activities. I had shared another video earlier this uh, to this video, which I had shared in that link, which will explain you the purpose and types of various uh, substations. Also the civil and structural components uh, required for the substation projects. You can refer that uh, I had shared the link in this uh, description for this video. So in this slide, you can see the Gantry structure, which is in the left side. Generally, the Gantry structure is the tallest structure in any of the substation projects, followed by the picture, which is showing the 3D reinforcement view of uh, oil collection tank. And the next one, the third one is a single foundation for a single phase equipment support structure. In the right side, it is a frame for control room building. And coming to the input for design engineering for civil and structure activities, start with layout and section drawings. Generally, the layout and section drawings to be prepared by an electrical engineer or team of electrical engineers, which are comprises of outdoor layout and sections, indoor layout and sections, cable route layout and sections. Generally, that Outdoor uh, layout and sections will provide the uh, detailed information about what are the structures and uh, equipments required for the substation system. Also, it will provide various uh, civil and uh, structural engineering activities uh, requirement for the substation projects. Whereas, it will provide the dimension of various uh, structures, uh, how the gantry tower uh, should have the height, uh, the fixing height of the line conductors and bay distance of each uh, base equipment uh, uh, what uh, uh, types of equipment required for the substation projects and uh, various uh, access uh, to the equipment and control uh, control room building uh, location and uh, various uh, parameters which are required for uh, civil and uh, structural engineering design activities for outdoor we can able to get from the outdoor layout and section drawings indoor Generally, indoor means it is a building. So this building layout and section drawings, whereas for AIS, that is air insulated switch gear type of substation, we required a control room building or switch gear building, where the control room building used to have the main components, main room components, such as control room, maintenance room, testing room, battery room, ACDP room or DCDP room, PLCC room, electrical lab, or some accessory rooms such as the store room, staff room, conference hall, pantry. So these are main uh, room structure for any control building for AIS substation. So also this uh, indoor uh, for indoor layout and section for AIS control room building give you the access and the various uh, door window requirement uh, based upon the technical specification and project requirement. Uh, we can able to get from this indoor uh, layout. Also for GAS uh, hall, uh, in GAS is a gas insulated switch gas substation. For that, uh, the GAS hall requirement, which are comprises of uh, gantry uh, movement and gantry structure requirement, crane, uh, that is gantry crane requirement. So those detail will be available in GAS uh, indoor uh, layout and section drawings. Followed by cable route. Uh, cable route is another uh, important layout and section drawings which uh, will be helpful for uh, civil engineers to finalize the various uh, sections. Uh, sections means the dimensions of uh, trenches for cable routing. Mm, can be able to get from this uh, cable route uh, which are prepared by the electrical engineer. Also, whenever the cable route which are running below the any road, any access road or uh, any rail cam road, the special care should be taken. So next input record for a design of steel and structure is equipment dimension drawings. Generally, this will be provided by the supplier or manufacturer of any equipment like CTVT, circuit breaker, disconnector and uh, surge arrestor, uh, post insulator. Though, so these are the main equipment which are required for uh, dimension drawings. In previous video, I had explained what are the equipment required for the substation projects. So you can also refer my previous video. 
Next one is electromechanical loads, uh, which are comprises of uh, conductor tension. Whenever the conductor is uh, used to fix between the two equipment or any gantry line, that uh, it will generally it will subject it to some tensional load as it is a flexible uh, member. Uh, the conductor generally it will have some tension pull due to its own weight and some oil, some ice or wind. Uh, impact will also increase that the conductor tensions so this uh, load generally used to calculate by an electrical engineer as uh, it is a electromechanical loads because various uh, uh, electrical requirements should be fulfilled in order to arrive this conductor tension and short circuit forces that is called scf and uh, next one is a uh, equipment operation loads so these are very important uh, when in case of any equipment like a circuit breaker or a GIS where which are we are using some gas to be filled in that and generally this will have some operational loads so those loads we can able to get from the manufacturer drawings next is the technical specification generally the technical specification we can classify it into four like a project specification which will provide the information about the scope and site conditions whether the site is in fixed in a terrain category uh, that the terrain or any any low level or any site is uh, to be considered under any water prone area or any uh, hilly or uh, downhill area so those information we can able to get from the project in, uh, specifications load specifications uh, so, so what are the loads should be considered while uh, doing uh, design for civil and structure like uh, the primary loads such as wind uh, snow seismic temperature and in some of the substation they also used to consider as a dust load when it is come for industrial so that kind of loading specifications also we need to get from the technical specifications. So those information, uh, either it is not provided by the customer earlier, we have to do some civil design basis uh, to, uh, to conclude or to make an agreement with the customer. And the standards, uh, which standards to be followed while uh, calculating the loadings and uh, while doing the design and while uh, fixing the materials such as in order to make a drawing we need this material uh, specification also so which standard materials either it is a indian material or european material or american material uh, likewise we have to decide this material standards also based upon the customer requirement and the project requirement and uh, uh, next one is a grade of material in technical specification generally we used to do the design of uh, civil and structural engineering activities related to substation project using two great materials that are concrete and steel so we need to fix this minimum grade and maximum grade to be followed for concrete and steel so in concrete if we are considering that uh, generally that uh, reinforcement cement concrete used to start from uh, m20 in india and uh, c20 c30 are uh, more than that it will in the uh, those are applicable in uh, European standard or BS standard. So likewise, we have to segregate. Uh, we have to finalize the grade of uh, materials uh, before going to start the design. And the supplier catalog for construction materials. Uh, for example, if uh, we are uh, going to design where it is coming in a water uh, pound area, we have to check with uh, the available materials and the standard size for uh, waterproofing. So. Uh, next is for steel and precast concrete which are a major structural element so we got to check whether these are the steel members and the various uh, uh, standards uh, of uh, materials which we are going to follow for our design whether these are available at a local market or do we need to import from other countries so uh, but those kind of information we need to gather before going for the design because once the design is finalized if and uh, uh, the fabric editor are anybody is going to start on the uh, material procurement if they found that the material is not available in the locality or where the uh, supplier uh, with the supplier so that that will become a great tragedy so before going for the design we have to ensure that the, what are the material we are going to consider in the design that should be available in the market or with the supplier so that should be finalized before that so 
basically for the main materials such as waterproofing steel precast concrete fencing type uh, and masonry or any grouting materials which are available with the supplier so that should be finalized before going for the design and next one is a soil investigation report this is a major thing which we need to finalize the foundation design and also for major structures which are below ground level so especially for underground water tank we need to consider whether the site is having a water uh, water table so water table is a major concern while doing for any underground uh, structures or foundation so because this will create a uplift uh, due to the water flow also if the water below the underground is having a chemical uh, reactant so that also we should get from the soil investigation report suppose if the soil is having a, a chemical ingredient which will affect the concrete we need to consider that a chemical resistant concrete or steel materials so such a way we have to uh, investigate the soil investigation report to before going for the design of underground structures and foundation site survey and topography report is also very important especially for uh, storm water drain design uh, not only for storm water drain design also in order to fix the major cutting and filling of any substation projects we need to have the topography report which will help you where the structure or where the foundations to be laid and how much depth we have to go from the finished ground level or the natural ground level there are two uh, ground level we used to consider while uh, start with the design because uh, finished ground level is a artificial level or make up made up level than in uh, any substation projects generally we should not consider uh, that uh, level of ground we have to consider that natural ground level we have to consider the foundation depth from the natural ground not from the finished ground level generally the soil uh, site soil investigation report will be done only from the natural ground level and not from the finalized filled ground level so that should be uh, we have to consider while uh, doing the foundation design first of all so for that uh, topography report is very important so next uh, uh, requirement for uh, substation civil and structure is a standard codes what are the code uh, to be followed so most of uh, the technical specification provided by the customer or the project owner will have which standards the design should be performed like uh, for example in america american standards with uh, fi ps uh, units that is feet inch pound uh, second used to consider in uh, american so that uh, standard even the unit uh, measurement also varied according to the standards and for a russian standard uh, most of the design should be design or detail should be done in a russian their own language so language should be in a russian even their standards also in uh, russian only so we have to use some translator to understand uh, those standards uh, to our uh, a requirement the uh, european standard generally used to have some dual uh, language either it is in a local language such as uh, netherland or uh, norway or switzerland uh, they used to have some uh, local language also with uh, english so there is a bilingual standard we can able to get from uh, european so in american standard there are asci it is a american society of civil engineer aci is a concrete material code american concrete institute astm is a american society of the international association for testing and materials ibc is a international building code ubc is a uniform building code whereas ubc is uh, superseded with ibc i believe so and the russian standard we are having snip snip is a load and load combination standards ghost gost is a material standard for concrete and steel or also some other materials aluminum copper there are a lot of ghost standard for material specification sp 
is uh, mainly for design standards design requirement for various type of structures building gallery structures or any equipment structures or any kind of structures we can refer sp uh, type of uh, codes in russian standard to design and generally that european code used to call it as cen uh, committee european de normalization sen codes is a euro code or en so these are the formalities we used to refer for european code bs is a british standards bis is a bureau indian standard other standards such as philippines indonesian kazakhstan and uh, uzbekistan there are a lot of other standards also even i had missed some china japan standards also here those are not used mostly in other countries in that uh, even in american standards uh, we can uh, go little bit in detail whereas asc 113 american society of civil engineering so in asc 113 is exclusively for substation structure design which is a guide which is which will have the maximum slenderness allowed and deflection allowed for any substation uh, structures which are subject to electro mechanical loads this is uh, specially for uh, substation structure for all other general structure like a control building even we can consider the load consideration for ac 0710 which is a minimum design loads for buildings and other structures aci american concrete institute 31814 is for building code for structural concrete aic aisc is a concrete is a steel sorry it is a structural steel building code 360 16 ac 1097 uh, and asc 4811 is a lattice steel transmission and steel transmission pole structures respectively astm is a material standard for steel transmission tower bolts ubc 1997 is a uniform building code which are superseded with uh, ibc 2016 international building code and uh, russian code in russian code snip 22381 is for building rules and regulations which will provide you what are the loads uh, combinations to be adopted and 21785 is a building codes and standards will give you loads effect such as uh, imposed load dead load sulfite uh, ice load wind load and seismic load so those load uh, calculation methodology we can able to adopt 17785 and 2781 is a construction seismic areas uh, sorry that seismic area i had added to earlier code uh, 1787 but it is wrong 2781 is exclusive for seismic uh, areas so we need to uh, check this code for seismic consideration for any project which are comes under a russian standard and sp16 and sp63 are design of uh, steel and concrete uh, reinforcement structure respectively whereas ghost 2772 is for rolled st structural steel construction and iso 4032 ghost is hexagonal nuts and products of grade b so this will provide you construction and dimension of hexagonal bolts for russian standards and european standards uh, for general structure design and calculations we are having en 990 and uh, which are used for load combinations uls and sls uls is ultimate uh, load combination state of load combination sls is a serviceability load uh, state so this will have some combination factors according to the uh, european requirement and en 1991 is one of part 1 is action on structures which is having various sections start with one is a dead load and live load for two is action of wind uh, sorry action on structure due to fire three is a snow loads so four is a wind loads and section 5 is a thermal action and en 1991 part 2 is a traffic loads for bridge design this this is required to consider while the cable trench if it is running uh, below any uh, 
access road or any rail come road we have to take these traffic loads for design of uh, uh, conduit or cable duct which are running below the house and the 1991 part 3 is uh, for crane and machinery loads when this is required to design any foundation for crane and the machinery which are used for installation of any equipment at substation whereas 1992 and 1993 is for concrete and steel structure design whereas uh, part 1 and uh, section 9 is for fatigue uh, load and part 6 is for crane runway beams whereas uh, en 10025 is for hot rolled sections and 10219 is for cold form steel sections generally that cold form steel section we can say that uh, in any of the substation if it is uh, the equipment uh, support is uh, support structure is designed as a hollow section either it is a square or rectangular or uh, circular that uh, hollow section generally is available in market in cold form steel sections which are subject to en10219 whereas hard rolled steel section is like uh, angle profile upn upe so those are uh, hard rolled sections uh, which are uh, which should be anticipate to en10025 and en13001 part 1 2 3 are for cranes and general design here also like in jsc e 113 in american standard here in en50341 is exclusively for uh, substation structure which are subjected to electro mechanical loads uh, generally this code uh, title is have a overhead line transmission and substation so this is short term you can call it as sin elect c n e l e c next is a british standards whereas uh, bs 5950 2000 this is a structural steel work in building 8110 is a use of concrete bs 4449 is a steel reinforcement specification for concrete addition to that uh, we can also follow all other european standard uh, prefix with bs so bs uh, en 9 1990 or 1991 which we had seen earlier for european standard that can be followed for a british standard and bis so india is uh, having a large plan of uh, substation projects so this standard is applicable for all over india so in bis we are having is 802 use of structural steel in overhead transmission lines towers uh, this is uh, uh, this code is mainly applicable for uh, uh, substation structures which are subject to electromechanical loads is 875 is a design loads other than earthquake for general structures and buildings is 456 2000 is for uh, concrete is 802 is for hard rolled steel structures steel profiles is 800 for general construction steel code is 1893 is a criteria for earthquake resistant design of structures followed by you can also having many other code for materials and other requirement other standards if you do for global projects ieee is required to finalize um, major uh, electro mechanical oriented activities here ieee 980 is used to to finalize the oil containment area which is uh, applicable for transformers dan dutch industry norm for it is a german code but it is used for internationally to refer various standard on connection materials such as bolt uh, nuts and uh, washers even the plain washers or plate washers or uh, spring washer that can be referred to using din standards iso is a international standard organization which uh, which can be referred for galvanization and welding impress sirsak uh, 103 is a argentinian 
Argentina standards for seismic load calculations. RPA 99 version 203 is a seismic code for Algeria. NSCB 2015 is a national structural code of the Philippines. PUE is a power usage effectiveness standard for Russian federal, earlier Russian federal countries such as Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Because the transformer oil collection tank, if you are going to find this, means it is uh, higher than the IEEE 980 uh, norms. Uh, so we have to refer the PUE if it is, comes for Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. And uh, next is uh, software and tools. Uh, this is a main, uh, this is also another main important while we doing for civil and structural design for any substation projects. So for uh, design and analysis, we are having a lot of uh, uh, softwares. I had listed few here. Start Pro, which is a Bentley software. And nowadays, and Robot Structural Analysis is a Autodesk product. ETAP, SAP 2000, SAFE, L-Pile, Skia Engineer. So these are the general software we can do it by purchasing those and getting a license from those things and excel calculation in most of simple calculation or structured calculation we can do in excel ms excel like generally the load calculations we used to prepare in excel calculation and some foundation also we can do it in excel calculation if it is a 3d analysis we cannot maximum we cannot able to go with this excel unless it is prepared for that so for any of the 3D calculation, most of the applicable cases, we need to go for this above 3D softwares, STAD, Robot Structure, e type SAP 2000, SAFE, and for l -Pile in case of pile design. So for SCIA engineering, so these are the tools we have to go, because most of the project owner will not accept if we are submitting this Excel calculations. So it is better to go with those tools for design and analysis. When coming to detailing and modeling, either it is a 2D or 3D or only for modeling, we can use these softwares which are Autodesk, Revit, Advanced Steel, Navis Work. So these four are uh, yeah, four are Autodesk uh, uh, products. Whereas in AutoCAD also we are having 2D, 3D and Revit also. Revit is a 3D and uh, we can do it a modeling and uh, detailed uh, civil uh, oriented activities such as foundations and 3D modeling and some part of steel structures also we can able to do it. Advanced steel will be help you in precise doing of design and detailing activities for any substation steel structures such as gantry and equipment support structures. Navis works which is a modeling and detailing softwares. Microstation also a yeah, modeling and detailing software which is available in both 2D and 3D. Some special training is required to handle this project, this microstation task. And uh, microstation is a Bentley uh, software and the Tecla structures is a European uh, uh, tool which is also used to model any steel structures or concrete structures along with the detailing requirement such as bill of materials and reinforcement arrangement and detail view of shop drawings in case of steel structures such as gantry and equipment support structures. So those is applicable. So those kind of requirement can be fulfilled using the Tecla structures. SolidWorks is a, again it is a modeling and a detailing Softwares. So these are the main uh, detailing and modeling structures which are used in most of the substation projects. I may miss some of the softwares also, uh, pardon me for that. So these are the design requirement uh, for civil and structural engineering activities related to the substation projects. So thank you. Uh, we will see in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.